what's happening guys this is words and today i'm gonna tell you about a new king amongst all king of dps in this game now i'm talking about this gun right here it's called the taipan 4fr it's a linear fusion rifle and it's a void and it is among the likes of cataclysmic storm chaser reads regret and sleeper simulant if you're talking about exotic but it's a legendary and if you don't have good rng to get any of those old kings then this new king you can get very easy you can get this as a random drop in any way in the game as far as my experience because i got this one right here and i still haven't crafted the new one that is a god wall but you can get the god wall very easily with little to no effort all you had to do just go to destination and then make your way to the throne world and then in the throne world just go to the enclave and then you should have a quest waiting for you to go pick up because Bungie is giving you this god wall for free so you come to this conduit right here So once you get here, just do what it says. Just pick those things up. Now you get this one right here. And uh, just make sure there's an auto rifle that you can get as well, which is good as well. So if you do this one first. So once you pick up this quest, just make sure you go to your quest tab. And then they are right here. Just complete them and do what it says and then we'll take it from there all right guys so you first have to complete the auto rifle foundry resonance first and so once you complete the auto rifle one then you will have the next one available which is going to be the one for the linear fusion rifle so then you pick this up and as you did for the auto rifle just go back to the quest tab and then here it will tell you exactly what you need to do. So this one asks you to complete an offensive activity such as Dares of Eternity or Wellspring with your deep sight weapon equipped. So you can do either one of those activity to actually get this done. So whichever one you preferred is your option. All right, guys, no matter which activity that you selected, you're going to have to do it at least twice. So basically choose an activity and then take the weapon in and then use the weapon actually use the weapon that way things could get a lot faster depends on which activity that you do so you might be able to not even finish the whole activity and you might uh, complete the red border thingy so once you complete the both of them you get the uh, resonance you can just uh go here then you're gonna do this just so you can just get the extract from it and then uh, once you come to the conduit right here, and you can just pick this thing up if you if you if you're not full. And then you're gonna say at the relic of the enclave, you're gonna shape the type in four fr or I mean ar two. So basically, what this is telling you is you can come right here, and then you can just come here go to and you can start shaping the type so just pick whatever you want for the original one it doesn't really matter and uh, you know whatever makes you happy basically it really doesn't matter you know what I mean? It's up to you what you choose for the original one. And then here you're just going to come here and then you're going to shape the typing. So once you craft it the first time, your next mission, if you choose to accept it, you just need to go find a place like the Shuochi in uh, the last wish raid or wherever you want to go find a lot of ads and then just kill them until you can get it as high as you want 
So basically you want to get to like level 14. That's basically where you find a good perk. And then you come back to the crafting table and then you're just gonna reshape it. And now we're gonna look at it. I'm not here to tell you what the God wool is because everybody got their own version of what is a God wool. So just look at the perks here, you know, for all every single column and then you can choose whatever you want. So most people are trying to go with triple tap on that side. And then uh, they're also trying to go to firing line. So if you go to get the enhanced version, you can just go with firing line and you can choose those based on what you want. I'm not here to tell you which one is gonna be a god will for you. So just pick what you need and then go out there and start making some of those big DPS damage. Anyway, that's all we got. I'll show you how to get the weapon, how to craft it and yeah, that's all you need to know. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next one.